Hello and welcome back to Break Tech. In this video we're going to go ahead and get started on a new series. We're going to do a skeleton CSS framework. And in this video I'm just going to quickly run through the components of the skeleton framework. Uh, skeleton is an incredibly lightweight uh, responsive boilerplate is what they call it. Um, it's basically a very simplified CSS framework or boilerplate, a starting point for you to get going on a new project. And what it comes with is uh, first and foremost the grid. Uh, if nothing else, what you need is a grid to lay out your items, and this is a percent-based 12-column uh, grid um, that goes out to 960 pixels. Uh, beyond 960 pixels, unless you're using full-width items, um, you would have your elements um, wrapped within, uh, you know, a centered, uh, a centered element uh, with, you know, equal size um, margins on either side. Um, you have uh, between one and 12 columns that you can use. Um, you also have a container class which centers everything in the middle. Um, you can use, there are some helper classes to help you use full width elements and uh, we'll get into those near the end. Um, but if you're using a container you can, uh, you know, everything will be centered and you can go ahead and use 1 to 12 rows. I'm sorry, 1 to 12 columns. Um, the one different thing about skeleton is it's a percent based grid system so you have to make sure that you're not nesting your your um, grid elements uh, in like bootstrap or even materialize you can nest your um, you can nest rows and columns within other um, rows and columns and it's perfectly you know valid way to, to write your code um, in skeleton you're not going to want to do that uh, you do get some simple typography and um, you get a custom font, the Google Railway font, and then he set, um, they've set certain element sizes for you. Uh, you get two different styles of buttons, and you can apply those to uh, anchor tags, buttons, submit elements, uh, etc., um, or inputs. Uh, you get two styles, you get a uh, sort of a simple basic button which is just a um, white background with black text and um, and it does have a, you can see that they all do have like a mouse over effect and then you also have the primary button which is the blue button with the white text and then a little bit darker blue when you mouse over you do get styled forms so you can use this to to create some nice looking forms oh <laughs> submitting the form uh, I, I didn't think it would actually be set up, but submitting the form <laughs> took me back to the top. Uh, there's two different styles of lists. You have an ordered and unordered list with just very basic styling using a simple bullet. You also get a couple of helpers for putting code on the page or any kind of uh, text where you want to preserve the white space, the tabs and spaces that separate the code um, for styling. Um, what you do is you would wrap your code that you want to preserve in a pre tag and then wrap that in a code tag. The code tag is going to give you the styling and the pre-tag is going to preserve all the white space. And then you get a pretty simple basic styled uh, table. You get some set media queries uh, with some set breakpoints and these are for you to enter your own information but um, for what you want to occur. Uh, but they're there and if you want you can just import whatever changes you want to be made at each breakpoint. The utility classes are cool. They have uh, two classes to make your elements full width um, so that if you want, like say you wanted a, um, like a hero image at the top of your screen and you want to have um, that hero image wrap the entire width of the screen, um, you can go ahead and add the uh, full width class or the uh, Umax full width class in, uh, onto those elements. Um, and then you also have two uh, float classes. You have a pull right, a pull left, and then you have a clear fix to clear your floats after you've uh, floated other elements. Uh, there's one example site. It is very simple. Uh, we can go ahead and open up the demo site here. And I think it says on here on the previous page that this, is, this entire website is about 300 lines of code. Uh, 300 lines of CSS, sorry. And... Um, and most of that is the placement of the cell phone images. Um, so what it looks like what you have here is a six column and a six column uh, row. And then down here you have a three column, three column, or I'm sorry, four column, four column, and four column row. 
Uh, and that has a full width background image, so that's going to be using one of those helper classes. Then you'll have a 12 column row, or a row with a 12 column div in it. Uh, and then you have, it looks like, a row with some text, some center text, so this is probably 12 column, and then you have two images, which is probably six and six. And that is the entire page. So, um, you know, it's powerful, it's simple, and it's something that uh, I think we'll get into a little bit more, and we'll do a little project, something similar to this, this landing page. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with BreakTech, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe, and we'll be back soon with more.